For basketball in North Dakota, the B and the A girls are the first to reach the region tournament stage of the state qualifying process. So let's go to Kildare. Alan Reed has region three for us. It's Washburn against Hedegar Scranton. Hedegar Scranton takes a 33-29 lead into the fourth quarter. That's Monica Govan making the jumper. But the Nighthawks would then rebuild their cushion. Uh, this is uh, Kinley Stateheim driving the length of the floor, putting in a little hook shot there. Hedegar Scranton extends its lead as Aaliyah Jensen with a one-hand pass over to Vanessa Ose putting in that short jumper. She's also fouled on the play. The Cardinals kept battling, though. This will be uh, Dara Beck leaning in and hitting a three-pointer, but Hedegar Scranton advances, winning it by the final of 46 to 38. Central McLean is ranked fourth in the final poll. The Cougars against Belfield. And it's the Cougars starting quickly. It's Reagan Jelstrup with the lay in. And then Belfield, though, will respond. It's senior Dallas Olson spinning and driving and a little left handed layup that goes for her. Then the Bantams would uh, see Hadley Talkington working the right baseline. Gets a little leaner to fall. She's also fouled on the play, but the Cougars aren't highly rated by accident. They started to roll at this point of the game. Morgan Snyder sniping in a three pointer. Central McLean wins it 66 to 36. First game of the day was Bowman County, third rated advancing. Last game of the day was Grant County Mott Region picking up a 13 point win over Garrison. Region one is going on in Jamestown. Sargent County and Lamore LM have first round wins. Also, Edgeley Calm Montpelier rolls are rated six. Seventh rated Maple River beats Linton HMB by eight. Well, the Class A is on the same format as the B girls. It's the quarterfinals of their region tournaments. Region four is in Beulah. Watford City is the two seed against Standing Rock. Second half of this one, Watford City's Jessica Mogan hauling in the rebound. Really nice outlet pass there to Bailey uh, Matson. She lays it up and in. Then the Wolves offense was created by a lot of really good defense. Here's Mogan again stopping on a dime. Then Watford City continues to build its lead. It's Annabelle Bone cutting to the basket, getting a tough lay in, picks up a foul along with it. Now the Warriors were just in desperate need of a bucket at this stage of the game, and they get one as uh, Heaven Eagle launches one and banks it in. But Watford advances by winning 53 to 30. Final game of the day is Hazen against Kildeer. And the Bison looking to get uh, their offense going. A few extra passes inside result in a layup. And in that layup made by Macy Smith. Here's Hazen again. It's Maya Mossett getting her defender to go in the air and hits that pull-up jumper. She had six of her team's first eight points. Kildare, though, at this stage, down by three. The pass across to Abby Henderson, or Harderson. She hits the three-pointer, so we're all tied up. And then it's Smith again driving in the lane, finding Emily Earhart on a backdoor cut. Hazen advances. The final here was 53 to 34. First game of the day in that region saw Trinity beat Beulah. So the Titans will play the top seed Shiloh Christian tomorrow. Minot's Mason Morelli made his NHL debut today. He scored his first goal today as well. Morelli scored for the Las Vegas Knights. Mike Peluso, if you remember of Bismarck, did the same thing in her, his first NHL game back for the Chicago Blackhawks. That happened in 2001. College basketball this evening. Houston Davis at 27 for United Tribes, who beats the Tetons. BSC at home also beats Miles Community College. On the women's side of those same double headers, it was the road team that won both times, the Tetons and the Pioneers. And the Daytona 500 finally got uh, run tonight, and William Byron 